I have a constituent who has MS and who lost her higher rate mobility under the PIP 20 metre rule assessment. This meant she also lost her mobility car and her independence. The MS Society has been lobbying this government and this parliament to scrap the discredited PIP 20 metre rule when we have the powers to do so. Will the First Minister, in the interest of dignity, fairness and respect, agree to scrap this discredited rule so that my constituent and all those who live with MS can do so with dignity? First Minister. Uh, enormous sympathy uh, with the issue that Alec Rowley has raised and I hope he will uh, listen carefully to the answer I'm, I'm going to give. I am acutely aware uh, and the government is acutely aware that individuals with fluctuating conditions like MS are failed badly by the UK benefit system. All too often it acts as a real barrier to disabled people accessing the benefits that they are entitled to and I know uh, that particular concerns have been raised by the MS Society Scotland about the 20 metre rule and how mobility is currently assessed. Uh, we are carefully considering how the Scottish Government can better assess mobility to meet people's needs than is done uh, currently uh, and we are absolutely determined to make improvements to the current system uh, but we also need to understand and this is an important point uh, the potential effects that changing eligibility could have on access to other benefits that are not under the control of the Scottish Government because PIP is used by the UK Government as a qualifying benefit for uh, other benefits such as disability premiums. Uh, we are currently working closely with the UK Government to ensure that any changes we would want to make uh, would not put at risk access to vital UK benefits uh, and payments that remain reserved but I hope uh, that gives Alec Rowley an assurance that we are looking very carefully and very seriously at this issue and doing so from a position of enormous sympathy to the argument that is being made.